I want to make Kalangala the best district in Uganda. Imagine a midwife delivering a mother, putting the phone in the mouth to access light from the phone. Even our own farmers are able to do more businesses than they, they used to before infrastructure. Of course, it's part of development. Without infrastructure, you can't talk about development. I remember the time when uh, a vehicle carrying national exams got stuck. So they had to take all of us to push the vehicle and uh, work on uh, where it had to pass. Before they bring these taps, we have many diseases like uh, diarrhea, brahazia, and typhoid. One of the first lessons that you learn from this kind of project is that uh, it is able to bring rapid development. You know, with the private sector, they are able to, to, to do a lot of things at the same time. Kia is, this is, uh, it, has, it is doing wonders in Kalanga. And I think this is the right way for any government to go to improve service delivery. Every time I've come to Kalangala, I'm pretty well sure there is transport at any time I get to the docking sites. There are two ferries. It means any time I get in, I'll have means of transport. The employment opportunities that have been created by the road itself and even these other infrastructure developments, call it the ferry, the power, the water, it has been a tremendous improvement in the terms of employment. KIS has brought a safe water system in Kalanga, pipe water. I wish you knew how these women of Kalanga used it to suffer in collecting water.
during operative procedures, we need to put a patient under anesthesia so that the patient doesn't feel pain. So the machines were there dormant previously and operations could not go on. Now we are able to use our oxygen machines and deliver oxygen to patients who need oxygen. We are not just looking at power as uh, at electricity as a, a luxury, but as something that touches life. It is saving life of the people. I think uh, people, people are very happy and uh, this is not just being happy, but their lives have been transformed. One of the things that Infaco has brought into this project that we may not find anywhere is the technical know-how in developing infrastructure projects that are bankable, you know, that is uh, sustainable, it is able to make money and therefore attracts a, a lot of funding from, from debt as well as equity. To me, I feel that the Infra Africa, as they are playing a great role of the mother of this company, whenever we need their support, they are always there. I want this community to understand and how they can sustain this project because it is there to stay, it is theirs. It is not for KIS, it is not for Infra Africa, but it is for the local community here. Nothing you can get outside of this island to take it to the mainland, no. It will remain here, everything will remain here. People will be rushing to come to Kalangara. When I was transferred to come here, I almost quarreled with God. Where am I going? But when I reached here, I don't want to leave. KIS coming here has created in the people of these people confidence, trust and love, and hope for the best future.